forget, if you want to be in our audience, go to eventbrite.com. Look at that shot. What's wrong oh. with that shot? Oh, I'm in it. <laughs> <laughs> per usual. Every time. <laughs> When it comes to the holidays, uh, this one is Stephanie Hansen's favorite. No, I'm not talking about uh, that other holiday in October, you know, Halloween. Stephanie is all about Croctober. That's right. Here with another delicious recipe for the slow cooker is the Emmy winning host of Taste Buds, Stephanie Hansen. Hi, buddy. You guys. I got your paperwork, by the way, from your agent. We now have to always refer to you as Emmy winner. I Stephanie like it. Hansen. I yeah. like it. Yeah. You guys, so Croctober, like yeah. it's the high holiday of food. <laughs> it's right between Thanksgiving and Christmas. Okay, sure. <laughs> okay. I, all month long, every day I've had a crock pot recipe. I snuck in some instant pot recipes because your instant pot is also what? A crock, a crock pot. pot. Yes. Yes. So if you're one of those people that has limited space, just go with your Instant Pot. Um, this looks very fun. Let me guess what we're making. Are you ready? Yeah. Walking tacos. Yes. We are making walking tacos. Okay. When you're thinking about recipes to make in a crock pot, there are so many that are just gross. <laughs> like, <laughs> put a can of this cheesy soup and this like cream of coconut and this cream of chicken. Like so many processed things. Yeah. I was like, I'm gonna just find something that is reasonably good, reasonably healthy, and that kids would like. And also if you've got trick or treating happening and you've got like kids coming over, this is a perfect one to do that. I know you're not having kids come over to your house. No, no but I just people gather okay. in groups in the neighborhood and oh, go to okay. the meeting together. I just don't know if I want little Timmy coming up and me going, "Here's a Dorito no. bag, you know, of uh, taco meat." You know what I mean? I don't Clearly a man who lives in an apartment that would even think that was a choice. I don't know. I, I love don't know. It. Okay, what what do we need? Okay, first I want to also point out um, the cameraman noticed they have Camera vintage, five, look right there. Okay, they have vintage taco Dorito packages back. Those are, yeah, yeah, from like, the 80s and 70s. Yeah, yeah, that was totally my jam, so okay. I was excited about that. Okay. So what do we need? Over here is our completed cracked dish, but we're going to make a pretend one like we were doing this. So the only thing that is not so great about this dish, health-wise, I do put a whole package of Doritos in there, okay? That's the good part. Just don't let that bother what? you. Why is it under the category of bad? Well, yeah. because it's processed food, right? It kind of goes against my wishes, but I got to do what I got to um, do. It's fine. Okay. Yeah, yeah. We have a can of black beans. And also when you're cooking with beans, get rid of the aquafava. <laughs> that is the gross slimy bean juice. Oh. <laughs> Translation. Aquafava? Aquafava. Okay, get rid of the aquafava. Get rid of the aquafava. Rinse them off. I always rinse the beans. You can rinse. Yeah. You don't even have to rinse, but pour out that gooey part. Got it. Okay, so we have kidney beans. We had black beans. What else would you put in a taco? Pinto. Pinto beans. I love pinto beans. All right. We're going to put a little, like, green diced chilies. These aren't hot. They're okay. just flavor. We're going to put a little rotel, like the world's secret weapon of food. Rotel? Yeah. Okay. Oh, Rotel are the best. Okay. Okay, and we're just like putting this all on top of our bag of Dorito chips. And now then? we are just going to put a little enchilada sauce all over the whole thing. Now I'm noticing, is this, on, you are not mixing. No, I'm layering. That's on purpose. It is on purpose. Okay. Yep. No, I just want to ask because I didn't Good know. Good okay. observation, Thank you. friend. Thank okay. You. Okay. Then I'm putting paprika, I'm putting cumin, I'm putting chili powder. Those are the imaginary spices that I forgot. But you didn't see that. You're just going along. So you just admitted that. You just pulled the curtain way well, back. Well, because yeah. I saw your eyes going, what is she doing? You yeah. were going to tell on me anyway. Hold. They just took your Emmy away. Yeah. <laughs> No, it is kind of a wonder. I'm not going to lie. Okay, green onions. Okay. You can put white onions, whatever kind of onions you want. Again, layer, layer, layer. Yep, layer on the top. Okay. okay so just like kind of smooth like this. Smush it down. We're going to put our lid on. I am so excited for this. And we're going to put it on low for four hours. This, and again, this isn't an instant pot recipe. No, it's a slow cooker. So slow we're cooker. just now imagining, wah, 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 the slow cooker is on. Okay, four hours. Has Four gone hours. by. Yes. It is now like two o'clock. Okay. Here is our layered 
dish. Oh my God. We have our, we're gonna stir it. We have our Doritos that are in the bottom that are basically creating like a masa almost that's already seasoned in like a delicious taco form. Yeah, okay? the, the Doritos are gone. A hundred percent. Now let's say you were gonna put this in a bowl. Okay. You could do that. You could make a burrito. We're gonna make you, I'm gonna make you just a little bowl so we can see it. Okay. See what it looks like. Cause you're thinking like, oh my gosh, what is this gonna look like? Yeah, I a little am, green kinda. onions, a little cilantro, a little cheese. While you I like eat sour cream? I do, a little okay. bit, please. While I eat that, will you describe like yes. what would you normally do, not for television? So, you would hand kids or yourself either a bag, you'd crumple them up, and you would just put like a half a cup to a third a cup of filling right inside your bag. Yeah. Then you're gonna put like, oh, I want a little cheese in my bag. Oh, I want a little onions in my bag. You can have all these little fixings out. You could put jalapenos. In your bag. In your bag. Yeah. Okay. Mm. This is like the easiest thing Stuff. ever. Kids can leave your house and walk with it. If you're going to a Again, sporting event. Again, I don't know event. if that's a good idea. I yes, don't know. I, I don't They're know fine. if that's a good idea, but. They're fine. I can't see little Timmy walking around like that. I you know can. what I mean? This, I okay, can. Hansen, Real this good. is so good. I know. This is so good. Okay. Cheers. Cheers. This recipe. And all of Stephanie's recipes, including her Croctober recipes, are available at stephaniesdish.com. And be sure to stream Stephanie's show, Taste Buds. It's available now if you download the Fox Local app or stream on your smart TV or streaming device. When we come back, an unfortunate trip to the doctor. Next. Next. Mm. It's really good. Join here on the couch for story time. <laughs> I feel uh, like we should hold hands. I know we should. Yeah, there we go. Aww. I'm joined by my friends Fallon and Stephanie. So um, I have a story uh, to share that's embarrassing. So you'll love it. Um, now let me ask you just to just and go ahead and clap. How many absolutely hates when their spouse is right about something? Right. I mean, and you're yeah. <laughs> Somehow I, I thought I would get a better audience know, reaction yeah. from that, but. More supportive this might be a horrible they're idea. They're not us. They're not, yeah. <laughs> anyway, but you know what I mean when they kind of rub it in and they're always right and you're like, oh God, they're right again. Mm -hmm. Here we go. For about six months, <laughs> I can't look at you two when I tell you this. <laughs> For about six to seven months, I thought, I felt like a lump or something on my side. Like I felt like, oh, oh God, my right, like right here. I thought that there was like something right there. And I, I forgot, you know, like, like a lot of guys stereotypically go, oh, I'm not going to go to the doctor. Um, I don't know what that <laughs> voice was, but anyway. Big smoker, and that guy. So finally, and when I, I am, I'm a side sleeper, fun fact from Jason. And I, when I lay on that side, I'm sometimes aware of it. So I'm like, God, I, I'm going to go to Dr. Decker, my, my fabulous doctor. So I go in there, yes. And Colin, on vacation in August, Colin, I'm standing there in my bathing suit. And Colin goes, I don't see anything. And he goes, and here, I don't feel anything. And he goes, it feels just like your left side. And I go, no, I, I, I feel it. I know my body. <laughs> so I go to the doctor. I go to the doctor yesterday. And doctor walks in. He goes, hi, Jace. What, what's, what can I do for you? It looks like you have a mass or a lump uh, that you want to get checked out. And I go, yeah, doctor. Um, <laughs> I think it's something, and when I lay on it, I can feel it. He goes, okay, lay back and lift up your shirt. So I'm on the bed, uh -huh. and he's going like, he's rubbing my belly, and he's like, does this hurt? And I go, no. Then he goes, he goes, does this hurt? No. And he goes, okay, now roll on your left side. And he's rubbing where the, the mass is. <laughs> and he's like, okay, okay. And he goes, go ahead and sit up, Jace. And I sat up, he goes, um, well, here's what I'm gonna tell you. <laughs> That's your rib. <laughs> you have a... He said, um, there's no mass, there's no lipoma, there's no gremlin. I've had a lipoma yeah, or two. Yeah, yeah. and I said, oh, it's, he goes, Jason, what you're feeling is the rib. And I said, there's a rib right there? And he goes, yeah. And I go, oh, doctor. And he goes, why? He goes, 
this, you're the first patient ever that looks upset <laughs> that there's nothing there. And I go, could you please just write on a piece of paper that it could be something? So, because I don't want to go home now. I don't want to face, I don't want to face Colin mm -hmm. and say that it was my, my rib. rib. It's my rib. So I'm fine. So there's the good news. I'm fine. Mm -hmm. I don't have anything except a, a rib. <laughs> What, what? Did, what did Colin say? And how could you not know it was your rib? I don't need your shaming. <laughs> I, I, I mean, did. don't you touch yourself sometimes? <laughs> well, that save that clip. That's story time number two. <laughs> no, but no, I do. But I just thought it was something and it was just okay. my rib and I right. I wasn't I don't want to make you feel bad no. that you thought your rib was a glump <laughs> no <laughs> no ask Fallon Indiana Public Education yeah. we didn't have anatomy did you no. go to Indiana too? I did yes. yeah. Okay. Yeah. anyway so I'm here to tell you Leo go ahead and take camera five my spouse was right <laughs> We'll be right back. Back in a moment, everybody. I do back feel that. Moment. I know. Uh, Look at like you're floating.